God comforts His people. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Jennifer Benson Schultz. Jennifer sat next to her daughter's bed in a recovery room after she had undergone surgery. When her eyes fluttered open, she realized she was uncomfortable and started to cry. Jennifer tried to reassure her by stroking her arm, but she only became more upset. With help from a nurse, Jennifer moved her from the bed and onto her lap. She brushed tears from her cheeks and reminded her that she would eventually feel better. Through Isaiah, God told the Israelites, As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. We read in Isaiah 66 that God promised to give his children peace and to carry them the way a mother totes a child around on her side. This tender message was for the people who had a reverence for God, those who tremble at his word. God's ability and desire to comfort his people appears again in Paul's letter to the Corinthian believers. Paul said, The Lord is the one who comforts us in all our troubles. God is gentle and sympathetic with us when we are in trouble. One day all suffering will end. Our tears will dry up permanently, and we will be safe in God's arms forever. Until then, we can depend on God's love to support us when we suffer. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Isaiah chapter 66, verses 5 through 13. Hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word. Your own people who hate you and exclude you because of my name have said, Let the Lord be glorified, that we may see your joy. Yet they will be put to shame. Hear that uproar from the city. Hear that noise from the temple. It is the sound of the Lord repaying his enemies all they deserve. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a son. Who has ever heard of such things? Who has ever seen things like this? Can a country be born in a day, or a nation be brought forth in a moment? Yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord? Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice greatly with her, all you who mourn over her. For you will nurse and be satisfied at her comforting breast. You will drink deeply and delight in her overflowing abundance. For this is what the Lord says, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the wealth of nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm and dandled on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. That's today's scripture reading from Isaiah chapter 66, verses 5 through 13. Let's pray together. Dear God, help us to remember that nothing can separate us from your love. Please assure us of your care through the power of the Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.